Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. Today I want to explain to you the uh, edit image node, which is not a very common and used node, but is very beneficial. Uh, but before I start, I want to point your attention to my store. Here you will find all of my make automations. There are currently 43 uh, automation in one pack, which is very, very uh, good deal. Also, I have 19 plus and it and automations. I have some courses, some templates and some custom nodes for you. Make sure to check that out. I'll put the link in the description below. So uh, let's start with the lesson today. So what I have is I have two images. OK, I have one here <clears throat> and I have one here. So uh, to start with, let us uh, we have a trigger, which is a manual trigger. So a trigger is a way to start the workflow. So this is a manual one uh, because I need to use this button test. Uh, and of course, I cannot activate because it is a manual. So it has this cursor thing. So it means that you have to click it for it to start. So this is very good for testing purposes. Now, I have these two images. Uh, I have this one, which is the... Uh, uh, it's called the background. I put it as a background and I have here, which is a uh, called the text. Oh, I could also name this text. So this is the name of the output and this is the name of the file. Uh, so let us start by uh, checking out this one. I'll uh, put it here and I'll test this one. And here you can see there's a binary file called text as we specified and the file name is text. If I view it and I have this uh, PNG uh, image of the text and the logo. Okay. <clears throat> now let's add the edit image node, which is a very powerful node as I, as I uh, told you. It has all these image operations that you can use. Uh, I'm going to start with the blur one and let us uh, bring it up. A little bit to uh, a stage where we can see so we have the image as input and if we just test out of the bat it's it tells us uh, check the parameters okay it is uh, it is searching for an image called uh, data uh, let's uh, let's name it text and see if it works also it, it keeps searching for data um, Uh, yeah, the property name here is data. I think if we change it to text and we test, I think that will be good. Yeah, there you go. So if we view this image, you notice that now it's a blurred. So this is an effect happening within the node itself. Now it has a lot of other effects that like there's a border one. Uh, it has the border and you can specify the color. Uh, there is the composite I will create again. There's a crop, there's a draw, a lot of things that you can use. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, tackle the composite one because it's an interesting one. Uh, but there's a lot of info here. You can get at the resolution, uh, you can resize, you can rotate, you can do whatever you want. So for the composite, I basically want to add this text image to the background and the uh, the background here let's connect this one if we test this and you can see that the background is basically going to be just this color or this border okay so uh, I'm gonna connect both but make sure that uh, the put output file is background and the, and the, and the name is background as well so if I connect these two together and then I connect them to the edit image and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to composite. And if I do, now we have two uh, property uh, names to, to put. And this one, if we hover over, it tells us this is the image that's going to be on top. So on top is going to be text and the background is going to be background. Okay. And now th there's operators here. You can multiply, you can minus. Uh, there's a lot of things uh, you can add, but I, I want to add, I just want them to be added together. So uh, if I run the workflow now, 
okay i have an item here let's view it and there you go uh, we have the image that we had and the logo but i think uh, i think i'm gonna try over because add is maybe yeah so over is the operation where it just adds the image on top of the other add has uh, has a more capabilities in terms of color and substrate colors or whatever you can try over these these are similar to the ones that you would find in softwares like photoshop but uh just think of the of the powerful uh, the, how powerful this note is because i made this image now uh that i can download uh using an 8n so uh, as you can see here with only two images now you can uh, this is an automation right you can hook this up to a front end uh, that uh, if you want to resize images, you can make a whole website based on that. This would be the back end and the front end would be the website. It will take an image. Uh, it will take the user input of how much they want to resize the image, for example, and you will do that and you will you would run the automation. Uh, or you can composite stuff, you can blur stuff, you can, you have a lot of options here in the operation. So uh, there's also crop, resize, share, text it has text to it so there's a lot of operations for you to use uh, edit image is a not a very famous uh, node but I think it's very beneficial one uh, that you can try and uh, incorporate in your automations uh, I hope this video was beneficial to you don't forget to check out the store uh, if you did like this video give it a like subscribe for more videos uh, in the future uh, and I'll see you in the next one